Hello and welcome to this video about a um, Marantz SACD player called SA11S1. Uh, this unit uh, originally didn't play SACDs. As you see now it does. And the reason I'm playing such a strange music is because I only have five SACDs and this is one lot number four there's a two three one and another two that I mark them basically the four is the hardest one to play so that's why I put it in but it plays them all equally well and also plays normal CDs and then CDRs uh, when I got it uh, I was told that the SAC diffraction stopped working and the guy bought a couple of spare lasers, cheap Chinese lasers, and that's why it didn't work. Well, that's not the reason it didn't work. Uh, I think I'm using now original one, I'll tell you why in a moment. But what basically has happened is that when I was trying them all, I first tried the one that we have now, and it worked. After adjusting it and doing some magic that I do, and, um, and then I found when I tried the other two that well, didn't work, there's a photo, there's you see resistor, big resistor on the on the board, but everything is around it, uh, surface mounts. Okay, and uh, it sort of sat there um, where the laser travels. So, uh, you know, right there. So that, that didn't look good. So I looked up a uh, service manual and it's supposed to be a 100 ohm resistor. Uh, and, 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 and sadly that one there was one and a half K. I have no idea why anybody would put it there. But they have. So I put a 100 K and, and it started working on that one laser but not on the other. I spent hours and hours trying to get them work. But, and I think they're fine. They're fine but not for this unit. I will tell you why in a moment. And, uh, and this is why you normally pay a lot of money for people to fix your stuff. Um, let me remove Mr. SACD. Um, and I'll turn it off. It will break and enter with intent. And that's the... Uh, 1200R, well that's 1200, hop 1200, and I think that is 1200R, loader I think is called 34 something V or whatever, I forgot. But anyway, that laser there, although very similar, you know, it, 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 it goes on the same rail and all that, it physically fits, but if you put one on top of the other, one thing that I've noticed is that uh, you see the header for the ribbon is in different spot. So when I connected that ribbon to there, it was at an angle. That's not an ideal thing for the ribbon that has to work. See that one, the ribbon is in the right spot. So I know that there are different variants of that. There's 1200R, 1200S and whatnot. So the trick is when you're getting them, instead of looking for sellers that have stock photos, Try to find the one that actually gives you a photo of the stuff that he sells. And then you can have to sort of at least look if it is similar. So that's why I think that these lasers were actually good, just not for that unit. That they're a different version of um, HOP 1200. And even if you look at the, at the um, top, they're different. They're different and... Um, you know, they just physically fit, but, but the, the different units. So that's that, you know, a bit of adjustment and replacement of that resistor. And like three hours or four hours wasted on those. And this is New Year's Day 2025, my first video. Anyway, enough of that waffling. A few things about, because this is a really good player. I mean, I'm not a great fan of um, SAC players, but this sounds very, very nice. And it's very well built, very heavy more so on that side where there's transformer. Um, transformer sits in Faraday cage, uh, fuses for everything, there's a main one there, the round thing, and um, 
and for each rail. There's a separate fuse, two, four, six, eight regulators that I can see. All the capacitors are Elna, nice touches, you see, like um, um, screen over the cable going from the power supply so the, it doesn't catch any noise. There are uh, chokes and filters on, on cables there. Um, they put uh, gaffer tape to prevent cables from slipping up out of the connectors. Very nice layout of um, of the board, and as you see, the output is all on discrete components. No up amps here. Big power transistor. I have no idea what they are, and my eyesight now is not too good. It's after four o'clock in the morning. Um, I think design is good. I, I, I'm not sure that it is for that unit that I've looked up, but it's, it's a, I think it's a proper differential outlet, I have to check it. What I don't like is that um, pins, you know, the, the two is cold and three is hot. But I'm going to fix it because nobody uses it for like 20 years now or more. And I, instead of unsoldering, I'll just swap the pins there on the connector, it'll come out easy. And, um, and I'll just mark it on the outside case that it is um, already done. Uh, very nice unit, very good condition um, tray, even though it's plastic-ish, maybe it's some secret compound, travels rather smooth, uh, it's quiet, very good quality. This is not Marantz owned by Philips, this is uh, Marantz, um, Japanese Marantz, you know, the later one. So, um, Pretty good condition, the scratch on the top cover, which the owner did uh, packing or, or, or fighting with this thing, I don't know, but he said that he did, so that's, there's a bit of a scratch there, I'll put my sticker on it uh, later on, maybe remote is not the freshest, but it's just sort of not that bad. Well, that's enough of my waffle for today, for <laughs> and uh, till the next one, bye-bye.